Ooh, yeah. Welcome to this short video of the aftermath of the day before. We're gonna start with the letter from Fantastic about what well, they released a letter before the release and they addressed some things like criticism and stuff. Uh, yeah, but since the game is right now again at a 20% on Gundam Steam and a lot of people are not happy with it, I feel like this letter <laughs> didn't age well. So we're gonna start with the letter, we're gonna go into asset flips on Reddit and a few other stuff like player numbers uh, shortly after the day, the day before, after the day before the after the release of the day before the aftermath of the day before okay oh, damn i hate that video game's name okay let's start with the letter they two days or so before release made a letter for everybody for the person who believed in them for the person who didn't believe in them and something they said that i marked is please don't accuse us of scamming that's not true we didn't take a penny from anyone i wouldn't say it's a scam it's just a lot of empty promises a lot of lies maybe i don't know how much they're gonna do in the early access year i played a lot of good early access games this year already and it's often a glitch fest survey issues true but uh yeah i felt like you know what game you're jumping into and this game just feels like they took assets and couldn't figure out a good gaming system for it so that's the next thing we're gonna talk about and look into please don't accuse us of asset flips that's not true also but uh well you're gonna see how many assets they took asset flipping if you don't know what that means i didn't know quite what that means but i can only explain it in a sense of a musician musicians can download loops or sample libraries samples to make music easier so if i go i for example make music and i have a loop section or somewhere sound effects music creation there are loops and if i open one up there are, we have some uh, drums three seconds for example but some longer ones that are just beats or something or brass saxophone because i like to use that and then it's just nine, nine seconds of saxophone stuff and i guess that's the closest to flips you can buy landscapes and stuff like that that's gonna be the thing that i'm gonna show you let's get out of the ladder and jump into the online madness oh yeah and memes a lot of memes a lot of memes a lot of clown faces i made a thumbnail for that it took me a few minutes with that that's not what i used i used this where's my goddamn thumbnail did i not save it there it is and put one of the clown faces over there with the people in the background that's one of my better thumbnails okay we got some clown faces which are funny and also the reddit page made this clown face they got the logo and emblem oh that's can i do before there yeah. there you have it in a second you have the big red nose here and this one the reddit page even before release was a lot of people who well had a lot of doubts some said definitely a scam others said it's probably just not gonna live up to the hype the moderators for the game They also got, let's say, scammed with the info they've gotten. They didn't know it's not an MMO survival game. A lot of people didn't know it's going to be an extraction game. Like the people who voluntarily worked for them to moderate Reddit or Discord. I mean, when I saw gameplay, I immediately knew it's an extraction game. Also because I play a lot of extraction games. So it seemed logical to me just to compare it to something that's more so an MMO survival game they see a lot of people said it's gonna be the Daisy killer and damn there are actually quite a lot of people playing that at the moment and then the day before so we have there 4,000 people playing I hope the servers can hold them I hope everybody finds a server 
Old Town Peak was 3,000, of course, that after release they got down, down, down. Refund City. Uh, compared to that, 35 or 40. To compare it to other games I played recently, I, I don't think Knock One is still it's not here. Knock One is not here yet. That's a zombie extraction game that I can recommend. Playtest, damn you. Okay. Let's see. Hawk, this fairly new. Not a big game, but still a game that's a fun little PvP, PvPV extraction shooter. Here it is. Compared to that, which is in my opinion a better game, also had a lot of launch issues, early access for 504, and something that's very high in that released the day after the day before release is the finals, which is, well, Battlefield, Apex, and Overwatch mixed. So that just released afterwards. Does it have a smaller? No, wait a minute. Oh, 242. No, no, that's way higher than what the day before had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's cut to the chase. Reviews ain't better. There we have a nice picture. I don't know if you can make that out. Ah. But I've read through the reviews already. A lot of product refunded, refunded, just like me. I'm not up for that. A lot of YouTubers dive deeper. I can definitely respect that. But a lot of YouTubers actually make money from YouTube. And there we have the 20%. Uh, I also heard people defending this game and saying they had a day one patch. I don't think that's going to put zombies into this world. Look at this picture. That's the marketing thing. I never saw that many zombies in the same place. It was two to three at most. That's exactly what people expected. Dream to pick. Voice chat is not a thing. It's just text here. Mm. No zombies. Question mark. Uh, is that a person? Oh, those are zombies. Look at them. Look at them. Glorious looking. I mean... Okay, let's get to the asset flip. A lot of people, not just this guy, I believe I've seen different people post a lot of asset flips. Posts here. And there are a lot of files that they bought from the Unreal Engine asset file lists. So you can buy map parts, for example. You can buy a biome. Which is not cheating, it's not bad, but it's just they wanted not to be accused of acid flipping and they bought a lot post-apocalyptic district that I mean it looks good and the game looked not too bad it's just empty and dead they bought a lot of assets and they didn't know how to make a game from that that's what I would say but that looks pretty goddamn good the downtown the city that this something that I've definitely seen and experienced like picture for picture can't remember that for example but yeah it's a lot of goddamn assets and here's the problem you see when this came onto the goddamn store the unreal engine store 2020 2019 and some 2022 and that's all in the game which means well Ah, oh, they wanted this game released two or three years ago, and a lot of those stuff came later. Ah, oh, yeah, and there's so much here. Let's look at that list. So they put all the game together with asset flips pretty much everything. So much, so many asset flips. 
so much stuff landscapes rooms sandbags server kit spanish courtyard tank barrier pack ultimate foliage so much money abandoned church and so arctic base downtown west residential house spanish courtyard black older trees inventory steam uh, system inventory system and stuff oh yeah look at that that's the survival game kit which is not it's, it's not like it's a bad thing but they bought everything up with money and didn't really build up a game with it that works well so i don't have the faith that they're gonna make something good with that maybe some other people or modders or people who buy this project might get a good game into that uh while using asset assets isn't an issue false advertising is the main issue here because they said no assets gonna be used and it's full of that ah oh, five years also this game was part of a kickstarter and there's a lot it's it's not an asset flip scam Need to win an olympic medal on the mental gymnastics to do that but okay yep there's a lot of posts in that direction it's just a gigantic list of stuff to use and a lot of it i mean you could definitely make a good survival game with it but since they didn't get them get that done especially two zombies in most areas and running around 10 minutes without seeing a zombie it's already ah it's already tell me failure all over the place easy voice chat i didn't find oh yeah that's voice lines voice lines i believe this game also uses ai voices i could look that up the day before that the day before the finals also does that ai voices i've heard youtubers also say hmm, that seems like an ai voice uh, and what the ai <laughs> generated voice of creators uh, some of the worst voice acting ah uh, the day before let's look that up this seems like it's the same fallout new vegas voice actor and uh <laughs> oh, yeah didn't see that coming return to land blood yeah my voice is might just be acid voices if that's the thing oh, hey you're finally awake oh yeah sounds a lot like ai yeah get that god damn it damn it ads i hate you oh, can't find a single piece of evidence oh. okay no they don't know they don't know but the first thing the doctor from the day before i thought and i heard a second youtuber say the same thing that it's seemingly the dr metro from fallout character voice lines presentation wise and now i don't find the doctor it was just in the post earlier this is not the doctor damn you game okay anyways ah we got those nice landscapes but the game mechanics and the logic behind the game is just missing oh yeah the public's trust of backing kickstarter games fn studios yeah oh yeah oh yeah that's the one i will never trust kickstarter games again but we re released the game oh. no Ah, lovely, lovely. I hope you read that, and I don't need to read that for you. Can't talk that long without water. Wait, so I can just make a fake game trailer and sell it? Big bet. Yeah, a lot of memes. A lot of memes. Dream game and a lot of discussions. They sold it as an MMO zombie game. But from the first trailer I saw, it's it read extraction shooter all over it. Ah, oh. it's not an extraction shooter. 
That's funny that I that that meme that meme that meme came up. Serious performance issues. The servers also annoyed me and the second YouTuber watched had pretty much the similar experience. Getting into a server after launch was impossible. Refund guides, a lot of refund guides too. Ah, uh, it's good. It's got a good foundation, the foundation. I mean, the foundation with the asset flips is not that bad. Not that bad. Levitate is the moderator, I believe. Discord, maybe. There's a lot of talk. The moderators just abandoning it because they were lied to. Ah, yeah, that stuff. People who have been beforehand also getting silenced about getting good game code out. Oh, this is a scam. Maybe that's a developer. I don't know. That seems that seems photoshopped as hell. Uh, <laughs> so many refunds still. Anyways. Do I have one more meme? Yeah. Yeah, I have one more meme. Mom, can we have a division at home? No, there's the division at home. What? Yeah, division at home. I didn't see a glitch like that. That would be funny, so I just died immediately after getting loaded into the game. Okay. Oh, I feel like I want to play the DC after the day before comes out i have a nice title but i still eh, don't know if i want to get into that playing day c the day after the day before released that's a nice title oh sadly there ain't any zombie mmos that i know of a lot of extraction shooters that's most of what i cover a lot of pvpv content and my wish list is full of RPGs and PvPV games that are upcoming. Uh, Arc Raiders will hopefully be a good goddamn PvPV game. I'm still waiting for an early alpha playtest. The finals is out, so this will be next from the same studio. Uh, but nothing that zombie heavy in here. Knock on Lost Paradise is the only thing I can recommend, which is a uh, Zombie survival game heavily focused on melee with the revolver ammunition being the biggest and best item you can find. I played this in the playlist for six to eight hours. It was a lot of fun. A really good game. It's, a, it's an extraction game. But if you're looking for zombie games, upcoming ones, this was very good. Very addicting. Very addicting. Yeah, yeah. Um, done with the day before. I'm not a news guy. I don't make too much news content. Sometimes it's just funny to cover that stuff. I've been reading a lot during the weekend, so this is the brain child of that. And this is Knock One, which I promoted every time I played the day before, which was one video and one video were reported of it. And I talked a lot about this game, which actually is a goddamn good stealth survival game. Sadly, no playtest at the moment. They should throw one out. Call it the day after the day before. Knock on Last Paradise playtest. Not a tongue breaker at all. And yes, fighting survivors is a little bit wonky and glitchy, but it's still <laughs> fun as hell here and there. Like you can just. If a guy is running there, I could throw a bottle at the car and the car has an alarm and all the zombies start hunting him. I certainly didn't clip that. That's how it looks also. Yeah, similar to Tarkov. Ah, peace out. <laughs>